Hi, I'm Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back with another podcast review. I'm revisiting Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse on 4K Ultra High Definition Disc. Absolutely love this movie the first time I saw it. Playing the Spider-Man video game on my PS4 was a wonderful thing. The blending of styles, the different universes coming together. I will be getting into a few spoilers because this movie's been out for a couple years now. And you should have seen it by now. So the idea behind Into the Spider-Verse is that the bad guy has fractured the universes and all the different Spider-Man and women (laughs) can interact, coexist in the same universe to try and solve the caper. That's the giant story. It's also about Miles Morales uh, dealing with uh, loss, uh, coming of age, all that kind of stuff, which I guess is also mirrored in the new Spider-Man Miles Morales video game available on PS4, PS4 Pro, and the new PS5. But um, re-watching the movie, it was uh, Stan Lee's, the anniversary of his passing the other day, and we pulled this movie out kind of at random. We had been wanting to re-watch it in 4K on the giant TV and felt this was a good opportunity and then remembered, you know. And turns out, watching some of the extras, they've inserted Stan Lee many, 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 many times into this movie, which is fantastic. So anyway... um, what happens during the course of the movie is, is you're introduced to a new Spider-Man or, or Spider-Woman. Um, they redo the intro kind of for brief. For it, it's not, you know, it, it's not like uh, Groundhog Day and just keeps happening. But it, it is funny because it'll take on a, a whole different aspect of this Peter Parker, this Miles Morales, Gwen Stacy, whoever, uh, the spider pig. I mean, <laughs> and... You've got animation styles from all different comic books combine, combining together, animation styles from all types of movies combining together. Um, the big difference is watching this with full HDR support. It is just blinding to your eyes. It reminds me of Speed Racer. Seeing that in the theater was just an overload of kaleidoscope colors. And very much so is Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Even in just the normal drama scenes, things in the background will kind of look 3D by the color shading. Not because they're actually three-dimensional, but because it looks like one of those old 3D pictures that you put on glasses and you would see it in 3D. That is kind of going on in the background off and on during the whole movie. And then they'll mix in the style of this particular Spider-Man and then this style from this particular Spider-Man. And it's it's cool, it's hip, it's wild, it's over-the-top, it's action-packed, it's short, it's highly entertaining, it's funny. I don't know what else I can say about the movie. It, it The only time it slows down is for a bit of Miles Morales drama. There's a little bit towards the beginning with Dad and his uncle, and then after the loss, it really, towards the end of the movie, and, and is par for the course for this kind of coming of age story where something ultimately really horrible happens, but they break through and they come out of it a much better, stronger Spider-Man after yeah, to quote what exactly happens in this particular movie. But the movie is just a blast. And I liked it even more this time with all the bells and whistles that a giant 85 inch 4k HDR television can bring to it. It is an amazing transfer. It is, it is a fantastic film. It's super high on rotten tomatoes for a reason. It made a lot of money for a reason. And there's a sequel coming in a couple of years. It takes a long time to make one of these. And when you watch this movie or rewatch this movie, really pay attention to the different things and how this had to be layered on top of itself over years to get it as wild, as crazy, and as nonstop as it is. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse has been re-released on 4K as many Sony titles have with a new slipcover, calling it a PS5 Essential. These are the exact same 4Ks that have been available and usually for much less money. In the case of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, you can regularly get it for around 15 to 20 bucks. It's 25 bucks for the new slipcover that says it's a PS5 Essential, but you're getting the same package. To my knowledge, they haven't changed any of them. And Crouching Tiger and Fifth Element and several other other big Sony releases have these new PS5 essential slipcovers as they did with Blu-ray. When PS3 came out, they rebranded or put stickers on Blu-rays that were out at the time also plays on your PS3. And I don't know about anybody else, but my PlayStation 3 was my first Blu-ray player and was my main Blu-ray player for a long time. It was a really good Blu-ray player. And 
I did use my PS4 to play some Blu-rays, but I eventually got a 4K player and used that. Um, and that they didn't put a 4K player in the PS4 or the PS4 I, 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 Pro, I always thought was a huge, huge mistake. But again, this is all marketing for the PS5 now that it has a disk drive back in it and you can watch movies through it and it's a good 4K player. It's worth the extra 100 bucks, by the way, to get all that support. Um, you will find these Sony 4K titles with these new slipcovers. PS5 Essentials. But if you're looking for the movie and you can find it without that, you'll probably find the movie cheaper. Um, anyway, I, I didn't pay a whole lot for uh, Spider-Man and the Spider-Verse when it came out, and it's more than worth it. It'll be rewatched a lot. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Watch the extras, too. They're amazing how much uh, detail they go into uh, with all the Easter eggs and stuff. And they don't spoil it all for you. They want you to do that, but they, they lead you on a path. that. It, anyway, the only thing I haven't checked out yet is the Blu-ray exclusive alternate universe mode. It's one of those that uh, Warner Brothers messed around with for a lot of years, and Sony's messed around with a little bit. And you get more of a director's cut version of the movie you watch the movie but then things pop up or somebody pops up and talks to you and shows you other things or it takes you out of the movie and shows you something else that would be very interesting to watch in this because there are so many different references from different comic books different universes different spider-mans different marvel it's this is an easter egg filled movie for the the ultimate spider-man marvel fan but if you're just into spider-man it's a fantastic movie because pretty much every Spider-Man that's been created, or at least the major ones, are represented in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. So it should be in everybody's Blu-ray uh, collection, as we found recently when we went four days without power, or, or without the internet, we had power. Um, it's nice to have physical media when you don't have the internet because you can pop in a disc and watch it any time you want. I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm Rockfile. Thanks for checking out all my links below. That's why they're there, so you can see the other things. And I really appreciate you subscribing and listening. I really couldn't do this without you. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.